Hi, welcome to Trading with TK, teaching you to turn ideas into money. We're at www.tradingwithtk.com, and today is Monday, June 23rd. Well, we didn't have such a great day around here today because uh, we locked in about seven losses today. Uh, I had my mental stop go off. Uh, you know, I I tend to have more staying power than the uh, than the average uh, trader does, and sometimes it works in my favor and sometimes it doesn't and this is one of those times it didn't but uh, enough was enough uh, too much exposure on the long side of the market and the market continues to get weaker and weaker the banks are just they're frightening how, ba how, how badly they act I mean some of these regional banks probably gonna fail um, that's how that's how badly they're trading Citibank down another 75 cents uh, that, that stock could go back down to 10 where it was uh, 20 years ago uh, but the market's in bad shape, and uh, I had too much exposure on the long side, so uh, it was pretty much, uh, you know, just lighten up because I want to get I want to get on the short side of the market. Um, I'm not going to go over each one of them individually because each one of them didn't have a specific spot. It was just time to sell. I uh, probably should have sold some of them a little bit earlier, but uh, like I said, I I tend to stay with them a little bit longer than the average guy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, we're not going to cry over spilled milk. Uh, there's a lot more money to be made in the game. The game goes on, and uh, we're going to be in there with it. Uh, but the market is in bad shape. And uh, one thing I'll tell you about the market, what scares the market most of all is uncertainty. When there's uncertainty, the market goes down. And boy, there's uncertainty. We've got so many problems in this country, and all the government is doing is arguing back and forth. Congress arguing with the president, the president's arguing with Congress. All kinds of problems. Either we're socialists or we're not. We're a capitalist. Or, you know, what are we? We like to argue with each other. We've got one candidate who wants to drill. Finally, come finally drill for some more oil. That sounds like a pretty good idea, uh, but only in certain places. And then our other candidate for the presidency doesn't want to drill at all. He wants to uh, tax the, uh, the oil companies. I don't get it. Anyway, this is the uncertainty that we're faced faced with. And uh, when we're when the market's uncertain, I guarantee you, down it goes, and that's where we're headed. Um, okay, enough of my ranting and raving. That is not the reason why I lost money in those seven stocks. Um, Staying too long was the reason. But we got a new idea tomorrow, and uh, just a moment, we're going to show you this new short idea. It's furniture brands. FBN is the symbol. And just a moment, I'm going to show you the chart. I'll show you how I'm going to take this idea and turn it into some money. Now, don't go away. I will be right back. Okay, we're looking at a daily bar chart of FBN, furniture brands. This is a call on the short side. Um, looking to sell the stock short tomorrow between $12.73 and $13.25. Uh, it closed right here at $12.75. We may get a little kickback rally, which would be ideal to get this short off because this pushback up here was just pulling back into resistance here. I have a target on the downside of $7 a share. And this is a uh, what I'm, this is our top. This is a breakdown, kick back into resistance, breakdown again, lower low, kick back into resistance. Now it's going to break down again. I don't know if it's going to stay in here for a day or two before it breaks again, or or uh, if it's going to come straight down. But um, I'd love to see a little kickback rally in the morning, give us an opportunity to get a short off up around uh, 325 area. If it should break down early in the morning. Wait for it to come back up anywhere near closer to its uh, the close, and then uh, put a short off. So, also this has the look of a um, it's got a V V top. Point that out. There it is. It's got that that roof look that I've pointed out in many of these stocks that uh, we that uh, I brought you on the short side. Okay, so let me recap that. That's Furniture Brands. The symbol's FBN. It's a call on the short side, and uh, I think we can make $6 when all said and done. Okay, I'm not going to go through all those uh, losers because I've got them all posted on my webpage, 
and all the stats are there. You can look at them if you want. Uh, like I said, there was no one area that said sell here. It was just an overall. Um, it's time to time to lighten up. So we're going to take a look at the major indexes. There's some new questions have come up. One in particular, and it's about the Dow, and that's what we're going to look at first. This is the Dow. We said all along from up, up in here that we thought it would test the lows. Well, we're just about there. And although we may get a kickback rally out of here, we're going to run into resistance right in here. So we're all we're, we're there. Now, I was always interested in what was going to happen when it got down there. And um, from looking at some of the major indexes, they are nowhere near their March lows. And they certainly look like they're, they want to go there. So if there's going to be that much pressure on all the other indexes, the, 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 the Qs, the S&P 500, the transports, and the Russell, how can this Dow withstand all that selling? Which is beginning to make me think that this low may not hold. I'll point it out to you. When I get to the other indexes, I'll, I'll, uh, you'll see my theory. transportation average ran up to resistance right here and is now rolled over after the close UPS announced bad earnings so we know that's down after the close and I think it's going to have an effect on the entire transportation sector I expect this to break tomorrow break this low tomorrow and once it gets down below this level down into here then this is going to be our resistance next time up so clearly we're just rolling over. These are our March lows down here. Right here, I'm sorry, right here. So if they want to come down here, there's a lot there's a lot a lot of work that has to be done to get them there, which means pressure on the market, pressure on the market. Can the Dow hold up? it's hard to think that the Dow is going to hold that low with the rest of the market being pressured the way it is. So that's why I wanted to bring that point up. And we'll watch how it acts, but um, uh, I'm suspicious of the fact that that Dow could hold that low down there. Russell 2000. This is a new index that we just started looking at. Some of my readers asked me to look at it, so I said fine. Now this is our important low. Uh, when we started looking at it a couple days ago, it was up here. We suspected it would break this low, and I think it probably tomorrow is the day it's going to happen. It, it just it just can't withstand the selling pressure that's going on all around it for it not to break and then once it gets down into here then this is going to be resistance on the way back up so keep that in mind the SPYs uh, this is our March low we're not there yet uh, we're down pretty good we could get a kickback rally any of these kickback rallies need to be sold whether it stops right there where resistance or even gets up into here a little bit it's not going to change the picture and uh, this still has a way to go uh, to get to its March low also, which means there's going to be more pressure on the market. And the QQQQs, the top NASDAQ 100 stocks, just fragile. They acted so fragile today. Uh, my guess is, um, you know, break down into here sometime tomorrow, the next day, and then this is going to be resistance. As of right now, that's our resistance area right there. You can see it all. It got, it got close to it today, but then closed right on the low. So clearly a lot of weakness. Clearly they want to go lower. Um, any kind of rally is a gift to, to, to probably make some sales or to get short. Okay, so hopefully we have better days in the future. Uh, that's my view of the market. Until tomorrow, this is TK signing off.